recent uh, developments, and this will be given by um, Hyun Jung Lee, who is the lead uh, developer of, uh, of the EPW code, and he will tell you uh, everything about what is new in the code. Uh, Hyun Jung, yeah. we cannot hear you. Uh, it's yes. Yeah, now we can hear you. Thank you. I need the enterprise subscribe. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Uh, can you see my screen? Uh, yes, we can see your screen and we can hear you. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Hyung Jun Lee from Oden Institute at UT Austin. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to tell you about uh, introduction to EPW and recent developments which will be included in EPW version 6. Uh, this is the summary of my lecture. First, uh, I'm going to talk about a brief introduction to EPW and its computational flow. Then I will tell you about the recent developments and I will conclude with future plans. Well, let me begin with uh, introduction to EPW. EPW is an open source community code for predictive calculations of electron quantum physics and, uh, and relate materials properties and EPW is based on density functional perturbation theory and one year function. EPW is also one of the core modules of the quantum espresso package since 2016. Uh, with EPW, uh, we can interpolate electron quantum matrix elements on dense momentum grid, and we can calculate electron and phonon line width and scattering rate and lifetimes. Uh, using EPW, uh, we also compute electron and phonon spectral functions, electron phonon coupling strengths, and superconducting and transport properties. Uh, EPW support ADA and GGA functionals, and EPW employ MPI parallelization. Uh, to be specific, uh, currently, uh, currently EPW employ K point parallelization. Uh, also, EPW support non magnetic spin of coupling and time reverse symmetry. And EPW also include polar collections and EPW maintain test pump of postability and portability. <clears throat> uh, now I turn to the computational workflow of EPW. Uh, looking, uh, uh, looking at the main source file EPW.f90, uh, we can see computational flow in EPW. Uh, first, uh, EPW read input keywords and import wave functions and other data from previous non self consistent calculation. Then, uh, EPW generate input to 1A90 and calls 1A90 as a library. Uh, after 1A realization, electron phonon vertex calculate on course grid and most of other operations are done in the subroutine EPH1 shuffle. Uh, let me briefly mention again about one realization. Uh, EPW call 1A90 as a library and this call, uh, this call, uh, this call run serially uh, since the currently the 1A90 library part is not parallelized. And EPW internally generate all input to 1A90 and uh, any PW can also directly and efficiently generate real space 1A orbital. Mm. And uh, 1A90's main inputs are included in also EPW input keywords. Additionally, uh, other 1A90 input can be passed to 1A9, uh, passed to, uh, pass, uh, yes, passed to 1A90. Uh, next, I turn to the electron phonon vertex evaluation. Uh, here, uh, I included uh, the schematic which shows the flow of the electron phonon vertex evaluation. First, uh, we calculate uh, electron phonon vertex uh, on core script. Uh, this evaluation requires uh, some input uh, from the previous non self consistent calculation. 
uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, this evaluation requires some input from previous uh, PW and Pono calculations. Uh, that is, um, wave functions come from the previous non swept consistent calculation. And, sorry, uh, and the uh, perturbing potential uh, and perturbing potentials or uh, in pattern basis come from the previous phonon calculation. Also, a phonon frequency and a phonon eigenmode uh, calculate from uh, from the uh, dynamic uh, from the dynamic matrix from phonon calculation. Uh, since perturbing potentials are imported in irreducible pattern basis, uh, we also need a pattern a pattern information from phonon uh, phonon code. A phonon, a phonon code can also calculate uh, electron phonon vertex on course grid, uh, but uh, there are some difference. Uh, for example, a uh, phonon code uh, explicitly calculate a uh, uh, state at k and k plus q for each q point. Uh, but EPW uh, just need uh, one full grid non self consistent calculation for the evaluation of electron phonon vertex. Uh, since um, if it double pull the states at k plus q uh, outside first real long zone into the first uh, first pg uh, this also indicate uh, if it double employ uh, the periodic gauge condition uh, same as in the uh, 1a90 uh, after evaluation of electron phonon vertex on course read uh, if it double perform the transformation from the course block basis to 1a basis here uh, EPW can use uh, 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 minimal distance uh, replica selection method, uh, method uh, recently implemented in 1A90 for better interpolation quality. Uh, then EPW performs uh, 1A interpolation, uh, 1A interpolation of electron photon vertex on dense grid. Uh, uh, here, uh, we can reduce the computational size by using crystal symmetry uh, uh, and pattern window. Uh, finally, uh, we obtain uh, electron phonon vertex on dense grid. If it double compute uh, uh, several uh, physical properties, uh, for example, the electron self energy or uh, the expression of uh, each imaginary part is given, uh, given in this slide. Uh, as you can see, uh, usually we need uh, the integration of a dense Q grid, and also we need to evaluate. Uh, uh, we need to evaluate uh, electron self energy at dense K point. Mm. Uh, as I already mentioned, uh, for efficient evaluation of electron phonon vertex on course grid, uh, first the uh, um, periodic gauge condition. Uh, uh, and crystal symmetry, and lastly, the time reverse symmetry uh, are employed. Uh, but, uh, sorry, uh, the, but uh, uh, regarding time reverse symmetry, uh, uh, it is not always used. For example, uh, time reverse symmetry uh, used only when small group of Q points does not include the operation which transforms Q to minus Q. Uh, for this reason, uh, time reverse symmetry uh, is not used in the central symmetric system. And even for non central symmetric system, uh, it is not used depending on the little group of Q point. Uh, now uh, uh, I turn to the main topic. Uh, the recent developments in EPW. Uh, before going to the main topic, uh, I want to mention about uh, uh, the design principles of which I have in mind. First, uh, uh, I wanted to improve the computational workflow. Uh, second, uh, I try to reduce the computational size, but in particular by using crystal symmetry. Uh, and lastly, uh, I wanted to optimize the computation. Uh, 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 I want to emphasize the difference between the, the second and third things. Uh, we can reduce the computational size in several ways. Uh, for example, uh, 
If we study the system with a high symmetry and highly, uh, highly dispersible bands, and we can reduce the number of evaluations by using crystal symmetry. And also, uh, if some critical properties are dominated by states near the Fermi level, or in this case, uh, we can reduce the computational size by considering only the state, uh, uh, only the state, uh, uh, only the state near the Fermi level. Um, however, uh, this type of reduction uh, uh, does not work. Uh, uh, does not work for the system with low symmetry and very flat band. Uh, in this case, uh, we need to rely on different root, uh, for example, uh, uh, in the programming and architecture level. Okay, uh, first, uh, uh, I made uh, some, improve, uh, uh, some improvement on workflow. Uh, for example, uh, I divided, uh, I divide EPW into two separate code. Uh, there is uh, one for the one, for the generation of electron photon vertex in the one-year basis, uh, and the other for the interpolation and calculation of physical quantities on fine grid. A motivation for this is that uh, uh, two parts have, uh, have a different characteristic. Uh, for example, <clears throat> a calculation size uh, and also suitable parallelization structure. Uh, also, uh, these type of mechanisms of make uh, make things complex. Uh, lastly, uh, the, uh, this division uh, would be beneficial uh, when making EPW work with other DFT code. Also, uh, I incorporate a non-self-consistent step into EPW uh, for, uh, 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 for simple workflow. Uh, one of other things is that uh, I make EPW start from uh, irreducible k points and then generate wave functions on remaining k points by using the crystal symmetry. The next example is related uh, to the reduction of computational size. Uh, shortly speaking, uh, uh, I enable uh, efficient computation of electron phonon, electron phonon matrix elements on both coarse and dense grid. Uh, for coarse grid, uh, I reduce the computational size uh, and for dense grid, uh, I rely on parallelization structure uh, different from the current one. <laughs> uh, as you know, where the uh, electron phonon vertex uh, is a, a main ingredient to calculate electron phonon related quantities. Uh, EPW spend a large portion of time on each evaluation and uh, it is calculated uh, in plane wave basis on cool speed, uh, but after one interpolation, uh, it is calculated in, uh, in reduced basis on dense grid. Uh, in calculating and interpolating electron phonon vertex, uh, we have to use consistent gauge of wave functions uh, throughout uh, all calculations. Also, uh, we have to consider all pairs of states at k and k plus q leading to um, mb squared times, nk times, and nq times, and n new evaluations. Uh, I wanted to reduce uh, this, number of, uh, uh, this number of evaluations by using the crystal symmetry. Uh, the electron phonon vertex between uh, k and sq uh, can be expressed uh, in terms of uh, the uh, the perturbing potential uh, at Q point and uh, 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 and the rotate wave functions uh, using the symmetry of block states and perturbing potential. Uh, if we can impose the consistent gauge conditions between wave functions before and after rotation, uh, we can derive the symmetry relation of electron phonon vertex or uh, in the bottom line. However, uh, we cannot impose uh, this, uh, uh, this gauge conditions consistently. Uh, there are a few cases uh, they show this is not the case. And uh, let me give you a, 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 and, uh, let me give you a one simple example. Uh, let's suppose 
or the inversion operation of the small group of k point and its arbitrary state with band index n. As you, uh, as you can see, uh, uh, the inversion operation introduced additional factor of minus one uh, to wave functions at k and therefore the, the gauge condition in the first line of this slide uh, cannot be satisfied. Uh, consequently, uh, we need to multiply the additional factors leading to the expression uh, in the box. Uh, this expression can easily be derived by using the completeness relation, and more importantly, uh, in the case of the degenerate state, uh, we need to sum over the entire uh, 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 sum over the entire degenerate subspace. Uh, with this implementation, uh, instead of explicitly evaluating electron phonon vertex for all pairs of states at k and k plus q, uh, we just explicitly calculate uh, for each irreducible q point only, and uh, and then uh, for the remaining q points, uh, the start of irreducible q point, we can skip the explicit evaluation by using the symmetry relation of electron phonon vertex. Uh, uh, in principle, uh, we can achieve speed up uh, by a factor of the ratio of the number of Q points to the number of irreducible Q points. However, um, actually we have to include additional factor of alpha, uh, which, uh, uh, which, reduce, uh, which reduce the speed up and include the time for IO and time to calculate overlap. For example, uh, in case of gallium nitride, uh, with this implementation, uh, I, uh, I achieve uh, a speed up of about four uh, compared with the uh, ideal, uh, ideal speed up of 7.7. Uh, 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 the next is related to the optimization of computation in, uh, 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 in programming level. Uh, currently, uh, EPW use a crystal symmetry on dense grid. But uh, rigorously speaking, uh, for the evaluation of electron phonon vertex on dense grid, uh, we cannot use the previous symmetry relation since symmetry is broken during linearization. So uh, I explored uh, another route uh, to enable uh, efficient computation of electron phonon vertex on dense grid. And uh, I changed uh, the current parallelization scheme uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the interpolation part. Uh, previously, uh, EPW relies on one level MPI parallelization over K points. But uh, I implemented hybrid two level MPI and open MPI parallelization. Uh, in this scheme, uh, uh, evaluations over Q points are parallelized using MPI and those over K points using both MPI and open MP. But this new parallelization scheme uh, turned out to lead to good scaling behavior. Uh, during Texas scale days uh, uh, in December last year, uh, I benchmarked uh, the most computationally intensive part in EPW, uh, that is the interpolation of uh, the interpolation of electron phonon vertex uh, for MGB2 mm. on 1 million full K and Q points, uh, which amount to about 0.2 peptide complex value element. Uh, as you can see in the plot, uh, this hybrid hierarchical parallelization scheme demonstrates about 86% uh, of the ideal speed up with the time to solution of 21 minutes on about uh, half, a, uh, half a million cores. Uh, 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 recently, uh, uh, I also extended uh, to this, uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, hierarchical two-level MPI parallelization scheme to the, uh, to the superconducting module. Uh, as you can see, uh, in this case, uh, up to uh, 
112,000 cores, uh, we can achieve about, uh, about 78% uh, of the idle speed up uh, using the newly introduced uh, low IO mode. And uh, other additions include uh, the implementation of symmetric electron photon vertex in ultra soft MPAW and uh, open MP parallelization over G vector operation and a parallel uh, and parallel IO using the uh, parallel HDF5 and the, uh, lastly, the linear tetrahedron method. But among them, uh, I'm going to briefly mention about the symmetric electron phonon vertex in ultra soft and PAW case. A previous literature show that uh, compared with the DFPT with an ultra soft shoot of potential, uh, uh, the support of a PAW need just a few collection terms. And, uh, and this, was, uh, this was already implemented in the quantum espresso. Uh, on top of this implementation, uh, I made a calculation of terms common in both PAW and USBP parallelized over less proclative spectres. However, uh, the, the, uh, the initial implementation uh, uh, does not satisfy the symmetric relation uh, between uh, electron phonon vertex with a uh, switch and then momentum in this seat in time level the symmetric case. Uh, this is the same situation as in the phonon code in quantum espresso. Uh, so uh, uh, based on the uh, recent literature, uh, I employ the symmetric version of electron phonon vertex. Here, uh, in order to be compatible with uh, ultra soft pseudo potential case, uh, I ignore the term containing uh, derivatives of on site partial waves, uh, the size of which is in general uh, negligible. Okay, uh, 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 here you can do new parallelization structure in EPW version 6. Uh, 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 as I said, uh, now, uh, we have uh, we have to separate code and uh, in the first code, uh, as you can see, the uh, upper level MPI parallelization is done over K points, and the uh, lower level done over bands. And uh, uh, in the lowest level, the G vectors is parallelized using open MP. Uh, in the second code, uh, Upper level MPI parallelization is done over Q points, and the lower level MPI done over K points. Uh, and uh, these K points are further parallelized using open MP. Uh, uh, now uh, I'm going to tell you about uh, the future plans. Uh, uh, for the uh, short term plans, uh, personally, uh, I want to investigate. Uh, I want to investigate the method to enable easy construction of symmetric localized bases. And, uh, and I also want to implement non-collinear magnetism in EPW. Uh, uh, the easy construction of a localized 1A function, uh, which results in good interpolation quality uh, is uh, uh, is one of a very important uh, development project. Uh, for example, uh, <clears throat> uh, even if uh, EPW has uh, many uh, uh, has many fancy functionalities, if we cannot construct good localized orbitals, uh, in this case, we cannot use these fancy functionalities. Uh, many people try to achieve maximal localization uh, in one year function. Uh, 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 but the literature uh, tells us that uh, in order to obtain uh, the better, uh, a better interpolation quality in general, uh, it is very important to use high density grid. Uh, with high density grid, uh, the maximal localization uh, is not the most important factor anymore. Uh, there are 
uh, there are some proposals for the automatic construction of one a function. <clears throat> uh, uh, the method based on SCDMK was uh, already discussed during the tutorial yesterday and uh, a very good uh, uh, and uh, a very good automation protocol was reported uh, in their paper. Uh, <clears throat> another proposal uh, rely on the optimal choice of the uh, energy window. Uh, there is the outer, uh, outer, uh, outer and closed window. Uh, however, uh, this scheme uh, requires uh, some kinds of uh, uh, iterative procedures, uh, which can make an uh, EPW workflow complex. Uh, therefore, uh, currently, uh, uh, I am investigating one shot scheme uh, similar to the proposal based on SCDMK. Uh, shortly speaking, uh, I am very interested in how uh, the automatic protocol uh, can be uh, can be smoothly and efficiently integrated into EPW. Uh, even if uh, it is not perfect, uh, uh, there is the uh, it does not uh, it does not work for all materials. Uh, uh, I think the, uh, uh, we have no problem. Uh, also, uh, I, am, uh, uh, I am very interested in how we can extend, uh, how, uh, how we can extend uh, robustly uh, Lei Sakuma's symmetric one-year function scheme uh, to the frozen window case. Uh, then the, uh, regarding the middle-term plans, uh, uh, I have plans to port EPW to GPU and also a plan to interface EPW to other DFT code. Uh, now I'm going to, uh, now uh, uh, I'm going to mention uh, more about the GPU porting. But uh, uh, I think the uh, OpenMP is very important uh, as a preparation step for GPU porting. But uh, uh, the reason for this is that uh, uh, currently on in all GPU port code, the best efficiency can be achieved with the lower MPI task to GPU ratio. There is one to one in most cases. Therefore, in order to use fully the computing resource available, we have to introduce OpenMP thread in addition to MPI task. Let me explain again using the real example. For example, a summit cluster has 42 cores and six GPUs per computing load. Uh, as I already mentioned, in order to get the best performance in GPU ported code, we have to use six MPI tasks only among 42 cores on summit node, since there are only six GPU at uh, uh, since uh, uh, since there are only six GPUs per node. But that is, uh, the remaining 36 cores per node are not used. So uh, to use fully the computing resource, we have to introduce seven OpenMP thread for MPI task. Uh, 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 I want to emphasize that uh, this is a, a very general situation uh, since uh, 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 this is very general situation uh, uh, we encounter since uh, currently uh, all high performance computing systems have larger number of cores than the number of GPUs per node. Uh, another thing uh, we need to address is related to the programming model. Uh, so far, uh, most heterogeneous supercomputing clusters contain NVIDIA GPUs. Uh, however, uh, as you can see uh, uh, in this table, some upcoming systems contain GPUs by other vendors, uh, such as uh, Intel and AMD. Uh, this means that uh, the problem for the choice of GPU programming models arises, since not a uh, 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 since a uh, uh, not all systems support all programming models. Okay, uh, uh, here is a list of references for my lecture. 
And uh, lastly, the, uh, you can find other information on EPW or in the following site. Uh, thank you for your listening. <clears throat> Thank you, Hyun Jun. That's uh, this was a really nice talk. Uh, there are three questions that maybe we can uh, you can answer. Um, uh, can you see them? I yes. Uh, the first question is the if uh, 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 EPW use crystal symmetry, is it still efficient with amorphous structure? I think uh, the amorphous structures is the system with the lower symmetry. And the, uh, this is not related to the use of crystal symmetry, but the, uh, I want to emphasize again that uh, rigorously speaking uh, on dense grid, uh, uh, it is not good to use crystal symmetry. And second one, you, may, uh, you mentioned that the same, uh, uh, same wave function gauge should be employed across all calculation. How can this be ensured in practice when a user is learning calculation? Uh, okay, uh, uh, I think that uh, 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 this can be surely confirmed. Uh, uh, the reason is the, uh, the EPW, uh, the calculation of wave functions is integrated into the EPW code. And this means uh, uh, EPW import the same wave functions from the previous non self constituent calculation. And using these uh, same wave function, EPW internally uh, perform linearization and also evaluate electron phono matrix elements on course B. Yes. Will it be possible to compute electron phono matrix element spin polarized system for in future version? Uh, 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 if you report to the spin polarized system, <clears throat> uh, uh, personally, the uh, I do not have a plan to implement for the spin polarized case. The main reason is the uh, if we implement the more general non-collinear case, uh, it does not need it. But but uh, but uh, surely the uh, uh, it is a very straightforward implement the spin polarized case. And the next one is the what is the bottleneck in your MGB to benchmark? It is the pre ah, uh, uh, sorry. Uh, the, uh, in case of the MGB to calculation, uh, the only bottleneck is the just we need many number. We need a huge number of evaluation. Uh, uh, as you know, where the uh, uh, in case of MGB2, uh, we just consider the, the five bands. But uh, generally speaking, the, uh, uh, my new parallel, uh, parallelization scheme uh, works for nearly all general systems. Uh, 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 it, is, uh, 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 it is entirely independent of the system. Yes. Next one the, is the ultra fast dynamics of occupation function incorporate. Uh, no, yes, uh, not yet. Yes. Hey, I think with this, thank you, Yun Jun, one more time. I think we uh, we are going to finish this uh, um, early section. Uh, since we are a bit behind, I suggest that we are only going to have a five minute uh, uh, break. I would also remind you